Hi everybody, this is Royal from Substrata. Today I want to talk about the differences between CBR value and an R value test. We, we traditionally get asked this question a lot in regards to all of our soil tests and engineering testing that we're doing on, on our Parmesan product. And all of our stuff usually comes in a R value form. And historically, CBR has been a more popular test. Especially here in the west coast of the U.S., uh, our value is, is much more popular. So that we're based in Las Vegas, Nevada in the U.S., so that's why we use the R value because all of the labs in our region uh, use R value testing. But I want to talk a little bit about just the differences and, and how you can kind of understand both. So at the core, both of them are testing the same thing. They're both a test of how strong your sub-base material would be and how resilient it will be when driven over. So it's not a strength test in regards to like a compressive strength test where you're pushing down on something to, to get a PSI rating or something like that. It's really just how resilient is this base going to be when you're driving over it and how hard is it going to be and, and long, long lasting. So both tests go through a soaking period where they soak the sub-base material and for some amount of time. Usually it's about 96 hours that they're soaking it for. The R-value test can, uh, depending on which protocol they're using and stuff like that, the soaking times might, may vary a little bit. So once the, te once the soil has been soaked for the CBR test, what happens is they come th you come through and you have a rod that you're pushing down. And you're pushing down at a set amount of uh, force and a set rate. And so you're looking to see how, how long you're pushing down until the soil deforms. And then that gives you the CBR value. With the R value, it's a little different where you're coming through and you're pushing down at a, um, at a steady rate and always pushing down. And you're measuring the resistance of the soil coming down and also the resistance of the soil in a uh, in a radial load so what what you're measuring there is how resilient is that material from expansion and then also from pushing down how much is it going to be able to resist that that vertical change of, of a test of a load in regards to the r value it's really a uh, a ratio so it's on a scale of zero to a hundred and the kind of rule of thumb that I like to use is zero is water, right? Because zero has, I mean, water has no strength and 100 is steel. And so everybody knows that steel is very hard. So uh, traditional sub-base material is going to have an R value of sometimes in, usually in the mid 80s, depending on the region and the jurisdiction and county and everything like that. But that just gives you a little bit of uh, a little bit of insight of how the R value is different than the CBR value. Uh, again, they're very similar. Uh, there's there's calculators out there that you can use to uh, to translate your R value into a CBR and vice versa. Um, but those are that gives a little bit of insight of of that. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. I look forward to hearing from you.